Hello and welcome to this online course about CBT, Cognitive Behaviour Therapy. My name is Shirley Reynolds, I'm Director of the Charlie Waller Institute at the University of Reading. And my job as a clinical psychologist is to do research into treatments for anxiety and depression. And one of those main treatments that we use is Cognitive Behaviour Therapy. This course is for anybody who'd like to find out more about Cognitive Behaviour Therapy what it is, how it works, and how we use it to treat anxiety and depression. And because anxiety and depression are so common, many, many people will get offered a course of CBT at some point in their lives. And we think you can get the most out of this if you know more about it. But it's not really just for people who might get CBT. Really, anyone with an interest in mental health issues or mental health problems might find it interesting. It's also important for me to explain that this is not a substitute for any kind of treatment that you might receive elsewhere. So if you feel that you would benefit from cognitive behaviour therapy, then my advice is really to go and talk to your own family doctor. They're usually the best person to be able to refer you to the right kind of therapist. Across the five sessions, you'll come across a number of different ways of learning about CBT, anxiety and depression. We're going to be meeting some clients and some therapists and they'll talk to us about their experiences of having and therapy and of doing therapy and give us an idea about what it's really like to have treatment and what it's like after treatment too. There's online resources for you to go and read further if you want to go off and read more about CBT or anxiety and depression. And we've got an online uh, discussion forum for you to post your comments, to see what other people think, and to kind of find out how other people are experiencing the course. But you'll find your own way to use these resources, and it's important for you to just think about what works best for you to get the most out of the course. As this is week one, we're going to start off with an introduction. CBT is based on the idea that we are constantly making sense of the world around us, that we're active processes, that our brains are constantly firing and making sense of the world. And there's a lot going on. If you just think about where you are right now, if you listen, you'll hear all sorts of sounds. If you look around, there'll be hundreds of different things you could focus on. All of this information is bombarding us all of the time, all of the time. And sometimes it's really overwhelming. So the way we handle this in our brain is to take a lot of shortcuts. These shortcuts are really helpful, they help us survive, they help us spot danger, they make us attend to the important things, but sometimes they also are misleading. And when they're misleading, that's how we start slipping into difficulties that we associate with anxiety and depression. In this session, we're going to cover three things. First, how do we make sense of and understand the world about us? Secondly, how does that impact on our thoughts and feelings and our emotions? And third, how does cognitive behaviour therapy help us understand that and also to help us manage any difficult emotions?